A bill seeking to license the operation and practice of private investigators in Nigeria has been shot down on the floor of the Senate. The sponsor of the bill, Senator Osita Ngu, was advised to step down the bill after some senators described the proposed bill as a recipe for disaster. His decision to suspend consideration of the bill was sequel to a deliberation which lasted for over an hour during Wednesday's plenary. Senator Ongo took time to highlight some provisions of the bill. He said the legislation seeks to provide a framework for the licensing and practice of private investigators in Nigeria. Regulated access, use and brokerage of confidential information may result in serious social, economic and even political consequences. A legislative framework will provide much needed clarity and consistency in regulation of the information gathering practices of private investigators. This will help to enhance capacity to assess information relevant to investigation and also help protect privacy of citizens. While some senators spoke in support of the bill, others said the idea of spying into the private lives of Nigerians is something that is in bad taste. This bill, for all intents and purposes, is desirable. We should be able to support it and pass it. The licensing of these people should be able to regulate the conduct of people so licensed. It's not for witch hunting or somebody going to investigate anybody at his whims and caprices. The court can make use of the evidence produced by a private investigator, particularly when the authorities that are vested with these powers are not able to assist the court with diligent investigation report. The effort of this uh, private investigation is very complementary in many dimensions. And this will assist our businessmen in the area mentioned uh, by the mover. In terms of fraud prevention, uh, insurance fraud, affiliation, and many more. Even in, uh, in bank charges. We have employed so many of them. But since the bill is just trying to regulate the activities of these private investigators, I think it's, it's a right step in the right direction. So I urge my colleagues to support this bill for the second reading. I think that it would be risky to license anyone to have the right to approach any one of us and ask certain questions because the law has empowered him so to do. It would just be a license for extortion, a license for blackmail, an unnecessary rivalry, and it will not be controllable. I think that if there was to be need, and I need to be persuaded that that need exists, to have private investigation, which is currently vested in about three institutions, the police, SIB within the police, DSS, and of course EFCC. All of this exists for the one purpose, to investigate and we are convinced to prosecute. I believe that it will just amount to giving so few people the power to intrude into your privacy, the power to be used by political opponents to victimize perceived targets. I do not think that even the mover of this motion has reflected deeply enough about possible abuse. We have a duty in a democracy to prevent, to protect the privacy of any Nigerian, whether small or powerful. I'm against the bill because if you are asking people to go and be licensed, I presently practice private investigation in this country. I investigated a lot of people in this country as a forensic accountant. I cannot go for another, uh, under another regulatory agency for me to be licensed to practice. I give evidence in court, and lawyers can investigate and give evidence, give evidence in court. So we don't need to put people to go into another round of uh, requirement to go and be licensed before they practice. This is not a new thing in Nigeria. Most of the institutions, most of the professional bodies do investigate and do report and do even go to court and give forensic evidence in court, Mr. President. So I think it's just a duplication of effort to me personally. And I support uh, the single senator Adams Oshomole. After a heated deliberation, President of the Senate, Gauts Philip Abia, advised the sponsor of the bill to step down the bill and consult further with the senators who have raised concerns about the bill. A country where we have numerous wives, and then we uh, any of the wives can uh, approach uh, uh, a private investigator, and they will bring very false evidence against you. And uh, at the end of the day, 
you, will, you, you end up being scandalized. Uh, social media will take that report as if the report is true. But however, I want to watch uh, a view of the divergent of views and the concerns raised by your colleagues. Do you want to reject uh, this and then represent it so that we just step it down? Meanwhile, a bill seeking to establish a Federal University of Agriculture and Tropical Studies in Rabiji Ocean State passed second reading on the floor of the Senate. The bill, which was introduced for the first time on Wednesday, quality passed second reading without much debate. Sponsored by the leader of the Senate, Abwayami Babidele, the bill was given accelerated passage and sent to the Senate Committee on Tertiary Education and Ted Fund to report back in three weeks.